I started this video but didn't say welcome, didn't say hi, I just started rambling out of nowhere and it was really weird and awkward as if you're standing on the street and some very odd random lady comes up to you and talks to you as if she's known you her entire life and you're best friends but really you don't know her from a bar of soap and you're just like excuse me ma'am i don't actually know you are you confused so i just thought i would say hi and welcome to my third vlogmas video i have many more to come i'm very excited about them and also very stressed because i've just been filming and i'm only now getting to all the editing and i'm realizing how much i filmed so if you're excited to see a whole lot of what i've gotten up to for december because i know we're still in like november content but that's wrapping up in this video then keep watching there's a load more vlogmas videos coming and lots of fun stuff also if you enjoy all of this if you enjoy this content lifestyle beauty body positivity fashion content creation what else do i talk about i don't really know then subscribe also if you watch my videos but you haven't subscribed yet the beautiful light is coming in i wish it was here from the beginning if you've been watching my videos but you haven't subscribed then please consider subscribing it's fun to have new people here and to kind of join this little friendship group and i really appreciate everyone that subscribes likes comments thank you also enjoy the vlog Good morning from my crazy messy office I am steaming some Yaga orders and I just have to say why did no one give me the personal plug on how incredible a steamer is. I'm having the time of my life. I don't know if I actually spoke to you guys about this but I bought a steamer like last week, the week before, somewhere around there and we bought a cheapy a little while ago from Clicks. doesn't work that well. We've now invested in a legit steamer and guys it's incredible. I didn't realize the joy, pure joy you could have from just steaming your clothing. So we have the Philips, um, babes. We have the Philips Easy Touch Plus. It's incredible. I don't know how to describe this to you guys. It's so good. So let me just show you the before and then the after. This is my little steaming glove. Mitt, actually. So this is the before. I can't grip things properly with this, but extremely creased i washed this obviously so that i can make sure it smells good when it goes out but super creased just wait for the after don't mind me just steaming all of my worries away oh, this thing is so good makes me so happy let's turn you up babes you do not disappoint this is my house andrew please this is my neighbor I apologize for the frowning face that you got all through these clips because that's my concentration face. The frown is my concentration face or my just normal face, which is why people think that I'm intimidating or I'm angry, or I'm irritated. It's just my face. It's just the face I was given. Is it the best steam job you've ever seen? No. But is it the best I've ever done? Yes. It's so much better than what it looked like before. And also bear in mind this is going into a box so it's probably going to have to be steamed on the other end as well. But overall compared to the before, I think it's pretty good. I love my little steamer. It's so good. Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday. I spoke to you earlier actually. Wednesday. Not Thursday. Wednesday. I am pushing my week even further than it needs to go. I spoke to you earlier when I was doing my steaming. Still so excited about how easy it is, how good it looks. I'm not a fan. Now I'm going to try and convert everyone to steaming. Well, I don't know why it took me this long to just get one. A good one. Anyway, I ended up taking my yoga orders out. I shipped all of them, which is great. That's just like one thing off my list so I can feel like I can breathe. I've also just warmed up a little 
Kazla chop and I got this Woolies summer green salad. It has like a, a vinaigrette dressing. Very yum. Mm. It's like fresh, a little bit acidic and it cuts through like the fattiness of that um, pork Kazla chop. I love how I'm talking about food as if I know anything and as if I like know that you just add sweet acid fat. I know nothing. <laughs> I find it so funny when people do that because I do it when Sean does it. I'm like, you don't even know how to cook. You don't know how to make macaroni and cheese from scratch. Anyway, I am now rushing to try and get my vlog up. I have to create some illustrations, which is why I have this guy here. I also have this very cool looking little glove that I'm going to use when I do these illustrations. I don't know if I've ever said this on the vlog, but those little pop-ups that look like someone's handwriting. That is my handwriting. And I create those from scratch with every vlog because I just want it to be unique and interesting and engaging. And I feel like those things and the little sounds that go along with them just keep people engaged rather than it being like, uh, you know. It's about to say it's 1.30. It's already 20 to 2. I have an event at 3 o'clock in the VNA. And it's just for an hour, so I will be able to do some work afterwards. But I, I ideally want to get this vlog up for this evening so that I can start like organizing the footage for the next vlog because I'm now under a time crunch because I want to do vlogmas. It's now reaching the end of November and I still have three vlogs that need to go up. So now I'm like pushed for time. So I'm going to try and do my illustrations. I thought I would just put you guys on little time naps while I do that so that you can see kind of what goes into it. Okay, let me get that to her now. Thank you so much for the follow up though. Cool. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I must actually use this. This is nice. Very nice. I also need to give some of these away because I have so many that are not in my shade. Not to be dramatic, but I wanna die. This bitch. baskets exhibition so they're trying to encourage people to buy local and support local for Christmas so I'm actually working with them on the event and I'm trying to decide what to wear while I'm standing here staring into my closet hoping something's gonna like jump out at me so I just want to be comfortable and be able to like video and take photos because obviously I'm working with them to show you guys which would already be on my stories yeah let me quickly put an outfit together and then we will chat when I'm on my way there because I'm running a little bit late as usual very quickly I thought I would show you the outfit that I chose. It's this sweet little H&M dress from the Meadows collection. I feel like I spoke about this. No, I haven't spoken about it on the vlog. I did a little reel wearing this and I think it's just so cute. Such a good summer, spring essential. And then I'm wearing my woolies. And they're like flip flops. I would just say sandals with the black soles. And very slicked back hair which just always works for me. My hair is not even dirty, I just feel like putting it back and not stressing about it. Spraying my Jo Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I actually need to get another, another fragrance. I was thinking of getting Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I'm gonna start talking because I need to run out of the house and go to this event. Sing about a holiday, the happy holiday. Sing about a holiday. Uh, 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 uh. 
sing about a holiday, the happy holiday, have a happy holiday. Oh, oh, oh. Singing for the sinners and the hard luck winners, long time losers, career boozers, singing for the ones that got away. It is a whole lot later, and I showed you some. Are you putting that back in? And I showed you some of the event I went to, um, the 100 Beautiful Baskets thing at the VA. So beautiful. Alright, there's a lot of sand. Ah. That is that is a lot of sound. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all of that. I went to that um, exhibition. It is so beautiful. Go and look at it. Honestly, I thought, I mean, how can baskets be beautiful? But I think I just, whenever there's something art related, I think it's not going to be that incredible. And then every time I go an exhibition or an art show, or whatever, I'm like, holy crap, this is amazing. So I had that reaction yet again. And there was just so many beautiful things to look at. I'm so happy. But now we are making that like salmon rice TikTok meal. I can't eat salmon. So I'm having to do it with tinned tuna, which is significantly less exciting. Probably be a lot cheaper. So if you're also allergic to salmon and you want to try this TikTok meal, but you can't really have the salmon, then maybe this is a good way to do it. I bought this packet rice from Woody's because honestly I'm not very good at making rice I always get it wrong so I thought let me leave it to the professionals I'm sure it will be better than what I would do with the rice because we have we have tons of rice in our cupboard do we ever use it no I can think of so many rice meals that I would like to eat but oh well okay so rice working man's tuna <laughs> working class tuna <laughs> From and you have the fancy. From Woolies. For once, you're the one that has the. I literally have salmon off cuts. <laughs> Your one ton of tuna is probably more expensive. Absolutely than this not. Salmon off cuts. No, it's not. Bar. No. I told you to go to Woolies. You didn't want to do it. Yeah, salmon off cuts. You chose your salmon off cuts. It's like a whole salmon in off cuts here. <laughs> so many different tones in there and then we couldn't find the QP mayo but we just got sushi mayo because I feel like it's the same thing it's also after five after six even and none of the stores open so sushi mayo it is we don't even have we don't have all the ingredients yes I done a shit job of making this thing we don't have any ever I'm gonna try and actually message Gemma and ask her if she has ever. <laughs> no, I think that's too far. Is that too far? Yes. Why? Are they sorry to have ever for me? <laughs> I'll buy her another one. This is what my bowl is looking like. I added some extras, obviously, and we realized we don't have avo, which is a key ingredient. So I actually. <laughs> I DM'd one of my neighbours because I know her, kind of, I mean, I've gotten to know her and I just asked her if she has an avo. She seems like someone that would have an avo. She does food stuff. I've chucked in like two different types of onions into this because in my mind it needs some kind of onion, but maybe that's wrong. Maybe that makes it less Asian-y. And then I got these guys from Woolworths so that we can do the thing do i i reckon break it in half Sorry. that's not sesame seeds that's uh chia seeds very healthy mine's not going full okay oh i'm looking for black sesame seeds yeah i know that's what you're looking for <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Sean. 
I knew you didn't know what you were what you were um, going for. I finished the black sesame seeds because oh. I always have them in my little tuna number. For like a bite size. So you're supposed to have your little thing and then people use their chopsticks but we don't have chopsticks because you threw my <laughs> reusable ones away. So we just load it up. Some people actually just do it like this where they grip but Seems like a bit of a mission. So you just get a bit of everything, put it in your little rice paper, not rice paper, seaweed. This tastes amazing. Fishy. It's because it's seaweed. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I love this. This is yum. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I'm quickly popping on here before I leave the house. I'm heading out for a little afternoon lunch picnic with Sean. Sorry, I've just noticed that one of my plants, my pretty variegated plant is kind of leaves are burning. Very distracted. Anyway, I'm heading out to have a little picnic lunch with Sean. I've already gotten, it's on the counter over there, some bagels for us and some cold drinks. It's a really hot day today. And I just thought it'd be nice because he works in the city. I live so, I mean, I work so close or we live so close. So I thought it'd be nice to do a little lunchtime date. So I've gotten myself ready. My hair is not dirty. I've just been like pulling it back. I quite like this look. I still need to put some gel in it. And I'm wearing my like Princess Diana in the 90s or early 2000s outfit. I love it so much. I'm going to take our picnic basket and our snacks and we're going to go and sit in the gardens. So I thought I would take you guys with. Right here. We have these gardens! <laughs> walking and walking and walking. Yes, sir. Well, none of the blankets. Bagel chairs. Cheers. Oh, be careful. What? Oh, the salmon. <laughs> they want you to get. <laughs> As usual this is my little outfit for lunch with my mom let's go get some lunch
laptop has been giving me some issues because it's sort of editing and whatever. This is the old baby over here. Well, I bought another MacBook Air just because this one is super light. I've had the Pro before, but like the old, old Pro. The new Air has the M1 chip, which means it's going to be so much faster. I'm very excited about it because I do a lot of editing nowadays. Well, in general, I do a lot of editing. And before we open that up, I actually also got a new laptop sleeve in this print. I'm very clearly into it because I also got the matching like accessories case. I was umming and eyeing about this in store because it feels quite matchy matchy to do the same print. It's basically for like your charger cables and extra things like a mouse or whatever else you might have. I usually just chuck my charger into my bag. But this will at least mean it will keep everything together. Let's open this baby up. Merry Christmas.